Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Firewatch. We have just discovered a weird, weird um, fence over here, with a gate, which um, leads to the Wapiti station in Wapiti Meadow, and apparently Delilah doesn't know about it, or the gate, so, uh, and we were knocked out last time, so things are certainly ooh, turning weird. Uh, and right now we're trying to look for the controlled south burn, um, <laughs> controlled burn south of the Ruby River, which is here, the scout camp, and we're all the way over there. So, uh, excuse me. Uh, we need to keep going east. But yeah, this, like I said before, this game is certainly turning mysterious. And kind of creepy. You know, I've said it a couple of times already, but I'm really hoping that... Hey, I uh, called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Should we call the cops? Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what? Henry, tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? Huh. All right. I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, will you just said keep my radio close to me yeah before i got attacked back at the lake i saw a radio on the ground kind of like the one i use and do you think that maybe someone was you know uh i don't know what intercepting maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something henry it's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. What? She doesn't know how you would do that? It's not really intercepting. It's just tuning to that frequency, unless it's encoded, which I really seriously doubt they would encode this frequency for. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. Whoa. I was thinking about the Goodwins. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Alright, so there is a medicine wheel here. And then we should go east. So what is this medicine wheel? Let's check it out. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? <laughs> nope. I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour um. on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Can we get healed over here? <laughs> right, so we're going east. Wait a second. Oh, that goes through there. I could go there to the cache 308, I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go through then. Oh yeah, there's this burnt area. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. Alright, one, two... Ugh. 
three, four. Let's see what we have in here. Protect! That's a dirty map. The three blind rats. When FBI informants need protection, you call the police. When those informants wind up dead, you call Neil Black. Well, we don't need anything here. And boom. Oh, I thought he was going to hover over here like the rest of the stuff. Right, so we keep... Oh, there's an actual road here. Fire break. I couldn't follow the fire break, I guess. Um, That's some weird shadows. Is it because it's getting dark? No, I just moved there. That was weird. Uh, yeah, I could just go down to the south and then east. I'll just go down to the south and then east, I guess. Although I don't think the game actually wants me to do that. It wants me to follow the controlled burn, but, well, there you go. What's that? What the hell? Is that a ski? What? Um... And I cannot report it. Why the... Someone's skiing here? That was weird. Yeah, there we go. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. <laughs> uh, are you serious? <laughs> oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. <laughs> I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Yeah, you're talking from that comfy little tower up there. I'm out here getting my head whacked. With creepy people about and possibly aliens. Or monsters. That would be cool. I would like that. <laughs> Firewatch. This is a very nice meadow over here. What the hell is that? A co- Oh! Um, snowmobile. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Huh. Whoa. Someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I and mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> wow. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den. Or, you know, anywhere. In the den? Is she a vampire? Right, so this is where the firemen should be. Doing the... oh. Camp... Arapade? Arapahoe? Arapaho? Camp Arapaho. Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. <laughs> the bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. So wait, I thought the firemen were there. Um, so we need to go north east. Well, this way, pretty much. I thought the firemen were over there. Aren't they concerned about the damn, um... Bridge being out? I think we can jump over... No. Maybe not. Hmm. No. I have to keep going. I'm waiting for creepy music to, uh... To start or something. Look at that. Someone was cutting that tree. I think we can, uh... Push it back, uh, push it down, and form a bridge. Afterwards, um, well, we certainly cannot get over the ravine over here. Nope, that's a dead end. Hmm. 
pork pond. Lovely. <laughs> um, hmm. Why can't I just jump down here? I've done worse and then climb up there. Yep, can we get through here? I hate invisible walls. And unfortunately, there are a couple over here. Not too bad, but there you go. Oh wait, there's... That's sort of high ground. I guess I can jump over there. Yeah! Let's do this! Oh, it's a long drop. Ugh. That didn't look safe. At all. Alright, so let's go find... Oh. That's cool. Totem pole. So let's see, where are the firemen? Um... You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weeble or whatever? <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Ah, uh, well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I'd make a weeblow do it. <laughs> uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblows. For the past 35 years, yeah. Okay. Um, wow. There are bear traps out here. In the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. <laughs> right, so this is where their camp should be. But there's nothing but a... Wow. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Uh, can I... Ooh. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the back country and getting through that fence. And through people. Um, memo. Hmm. Hey D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. <laughs> my mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Uh... Us. I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Us. They're researching us. <laughs> you... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that! <laughs> Agreed! I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Oh, wow, that's creepy. That's really creepy. So... I didn't actually read this. Letter to firefighters. What the hell? Oh. Um, what's going on? It's not really working. I can go down with WASD, but... Firefighters, please? Nope. It's not working. Okay, that's a shame. Yeah. I didn't quite read that, unfortunately, because I was listening to them, but, well, there you go. So now we have to go back to the Wapiti 
station, I'm guessing. And get through the gates. Now let's just go... Well, first of all, we need to cut that tree down to uh, make a bridge. And then we will uh, go west. Like the song goes. Well, there's a broken bridge. Can't get over there. Well, over that, but... We're gonna go here. There's that tree we need to cut down. Wow. Um, the animation is pretty good in the game, but... That was a bit pathetic. Didn't feel like any... Um, there was any power to it. Or speed. Oh well. Uh, west it is. I, I had a thought. Okay. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? At the pond? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. But the hell? Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. <laughs> um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door, don't leave, and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. What the hell? And also, it wouldn't really work like that. Um, you cannot listen to someone when you're transmitting, but okay. Maybe they're using some kind of weird technology. <laughs> Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the oh, 50th time today. Well, she said she would call us. The Flapjack Fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Uh... You can do me for a trip out of here. <laughs> I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? Yes, it is. What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, alright. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. What the hell? What the hell is wrong with her? What is she? What? What is this insanity? She's just like insane. What? Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um... Internalize it. It's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name okay. in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell you. Radio me the moment you get there. All right. Well, this is certainly, uh, <laughs> quite mysterious. So, where is that? My mile creek. What is Cottonwood? Cottonwood Creek. Oh, yeah. I knew it was that big tree that burned down there. Okay, so we need to go back there. It's interesting. We've pretty much, you know, almost traveled the entire area. The map is indeed quite small, but it, it's, it's quite cool. Right, so... We're going out again. Let's go. There's still the flapjack fire. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and we are going to continue next time. Bye-bye.